Hey everyone, I'm sorry for not um, recording a video yesterday. It was really busy, you know, the holiday season, um, plus with the cold weather front. But I'm back today, and we are talking about The Princess Bride by William Goldman. Now, I love this story. I first watched the movie before I read the book, and... I think it's appropriate to talk about it, you know, it's the day before Christmas Eve, and even though this isn't really a Christmas story, I think it should be. So in the movie, it does happen around Christmas time, you know, it's, they made a few changes, it's a grandfather coming in and reading to his grandson who is sick at Christmas time. In the book, it's the father is reading the story to his son, but the son is still sick and with pneumonia, and so they keep that, the sick kid detail the same, and they keep the detail that, you know, normally this kid doesn't, isn't really into books, they're normally into, you know, sports, stuff like that, they keep that the same, and I love it because it takes, it takes a family you know, like a father reading to his son, a grandfather reading to his grandson. It takes that and it transforms the reading of the story and it into the story itself. And it uses that imagination. And it's really about family and love, which, you know, around Christmas time we're gathering with our family. Um, you know, it's... I think it should be considered a Christmas story. And I personally, I love it because the twist about Wesley, amazing. So in case you don't know about The Princess Bride, I would recommend watching the movie and I would recommend reading the book. Uh, this version of the book, it has a really big intro with like details you might be curious about, might not care about. But, the kid is sick, um, his father comes and reads to him, and it's a love story. So, it's about a maiden who lives on a farm, and the farmhand helps out, and, um, you know, at first they kind of don't like each other, and Buttercup, that's the maiden, you know, she tells him, you know, get this for me, get that for me. Will you do this, farm boy? And he always says, as you wish. Even if she treats him just super poorly, super rudely, he always says, as you wish. And over time, that transforms into his way of saying, I love you. So the t two of them fall in love. Um, and there's going to be spoilers but I'll try and avoid, like, the big spoilers. Um, the two of them fall in love, um, but then Wesley, the farmhand, gets kidnapped by pirates. And, um, or is it kidnapped by pirates? I think he was sailing somewhere, and his boat got attacked by pirates. Now, there's this famous pirate called the Dread Pirate Roberts, who never leaves any survivors. So, of course, when Buttercup hears about this, that his ship has been attacked by the Dread Pirate Roberts, she is devastated, because how is she going to live without Wesley? And a couple months later, the prince, um, what is his name? Humperdinck. Amazing names in this book. Prince Humperdinck somehow comes across Buttercup and they in he decides that he wants to marry her. Now she, of course, she's just so sad that about losing Wesley that she just goes along with it. And I think that part of the book could have been done a little better. You know, um, there could have been more of a reason behind the marriage as opposed to just, well, the plot needs to happen. But, um, anyways, they get married. Um, well, they're going to get married. 
sorry, just felt like I had to sneeze. Um, they're going to get married, and during this time, there's a war between the two countries, um, Florin and Gilder. There's a war going on between these two countries, and she gets kidnapped. Princess Buttercup gets kidnapped. And, of course, you know, the prince is, tries to rescue her, but a mysterious masked man also comes and chases the kidnappers. Now, there are two kidnappers. Uh, Fezzik? Wait, no, there are three. There's Fezzik, the big, strong man. There's Inigo. A uh, Spaniard who is trying to get, find revenge for for his father, who is killed by a six-fingered man, and Vicini, a uh, philosopher. So they have kidnapped the princess, and they're you know trying to take her to the place, but the masked man is following them, and always seems to be right behind them, and you know. They try three times to get rid of him, and there's like a really dramatic scene between the masked man and an ego, and there's a dramatic scene between the masked man and Fezzik, and then finally the masked man comes up and Vicini, and he's the only one left with, and it's him and Buttercup and the masked man, and they do this battle of wits for who will get the princess and it's really dramatic and um I it's dramatic but it's also like funny to like read and watch in the movie um so in case you haven't read the book or um watched the movie I don't want to spoil too much about the ending, but I do, I love this story because even the side characters like Inigo and Fezzik and, well, not Vicini so much, but Inigo and Fezzik, they, there's, they have an actual story. They're not just, you know, the evil henchmen that kidnapped the princess. Inigo is able to find the man who killed his father. Fezzik is able to... He does some smart things that helps the people escape at the end. So they their arc actually goes somewhere and achieves something. Um, and it really is. It's a great story. Um, and you can see why like a kid would enjoy it. And I think it is really a super great story to read to a kid because there's all this imagery and there's a lot of action, but there's also romance and there's different parts and so it gets the kid interested in the story. Um so if you haven't read the book or watched the movie, um I highly recommend and this is one of the cases where the movie is, I would say, it's on par with the book. They're both excellent. Um, so yeah, that's today's book. The Princess Bride by William Goldman. As always, um, this video is to raise awareness for the GoFundMe I made for my sister. Um, if you want more information on that, go see off top the first Off Topic Tuesday video that has all the information you'll need. Uh, visit the GoFundMe. I'll probably be sending out an update to the donors soon. As a reminder, if you donate to the GoFundMe, you can suggest a topic for me to talk about on Off Topic Tuesday. Um, so if you celebrate Christmas, have a Merry Christmas. If not, Happy Holidays. Uh, I know it's in the middle of Hanukkah right now, but happy Hanukkah to any of my Jewish followers. Um, stay safe, and I know it's cold in the winter, so stay safe. 
Um, and have a good, hol happy holidays.